Church. I'm Shalita Cyprian, the wife of Pastor Derek Cyprian. And First Lady, Lady Sip. Yes, yeah. First Lady. All right, good. I'm, I'm originally from Folsom, Louisiana, that big metropolis about an hour north of Louisiana. That's why I was born, I mean, north of New Orleans. I was born and raised there. Uh, Ray, it's a very rural area, one red light. Um, both, since my, both of my parents are from Folsom, I'm related to about three quarters of the people in the town. Uh, we grew up, uh, my brother and I, as a family of four, and my grandfather lived with us, which made five, and grew up in a uh, uh, you know, modest home. Both of my parents were teachers and and my dad later became a principal. He also, he was bivocational, bivocational pastor, but we grew up, uh, rural area uh, would grow all kinds of things from greens to peas, to red beans, to corn, to okra, uh, watermelon. Watermelon was the only thing that we sold. Everything else was just grown and we would probably use about half of it and by the other half we would give away to family and friends. But that was my that was my childhood growing up. I don't know if. Uh... Oh, well, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, born and raised. Um, lived there for all of my life until I relocated to Houston after marrying uh, Pastor Cyprian. Um, I am the youngest of three. I have two older brothers. I'm the only girl. And both of my parents, uh, one taught school, my mother was a school teacher, and my father was a scientist. And I just enjoyed living life in New Orleans, especially the food and um, all the, the good things about the culture, the music, the jazz, all the festivals. Those are the things that I enjoyed most about growing up in New Orleans. And I forgot to mention I'm the oldest of two two sons, and I I married a the the baby girl, and which is consistent with what my dad did. He married his, but my mother was the baby girl as well. Yes. So I had some uh, understanding as as to the baby girl dynamics, mm -hmm. whatever that may mean. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Salita and I met, and, and actually uh, originally met in in uh, in in college at LSU. Uh, now we did not we did not date in college. We knew each other, and we kind of ran in different circles. I knew her roommate very well because her roommate is, is a Delta, and I'm an Omega, and, and we you know brother and sister fraternity and sorority, and so I knew her roommate very well. Uh, and but we I after graduating from college, she moved to New Orleans. I moved to Atlanta. Was in Atlanta for about five years. And then I moved to New Orleans uh, to go to, to continue my education in law school. And while in New Orleans, I, I run into, I was at the home of one of my fraternity brothers, talking to him and asking him, uh, you know, I, I don't know anybody here anymore. Can you introduce me to somebody? And he and his wife, after giving it some thought, thought Shalita would be a nice match. And, uh, <laughs> and so... Uh, knowing this particular fraternity brother like he is, he immediately calls her on the telephone, and and then asks and, and gets an invitation to for me for her and her roommate's Christmas party that they have every year, and and then after securing that invitation for me to attend the Christmas party, he hands the phone to me and tells me to talk, and so. Uh, I proceed to have a conversation or to attempt to have a conversation uh, and uh, then you know about halfway through the conversation Salita finally tells me she actually had company and 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 so I went to the Christmas party and and that's that we just kind of it just kind of started from there yes yes he came to the Christmas party and as soon as I saw him I recognized him from again being on campus around LSU, we didn't really, you know, know each other well then or talk. But you know, you know, you know people when you see them. And so we we had a good conversation. I think he had a good time at the party. And um, of of course, he got the digits before he left that night. 
And um, he actually waited a little bit before he called me, but he did call to say Merry Christmas, which I thought was very, very nice. And then from there, we proceeded to go on our first date, which was dinner at Houston's, and we went to see the movie Bugsy. Bugsy. Second date, and this time he cooked, and then he took me to a play. Wow, that was a winner for me. Good food, again, culture, play, I, I, I was happy with that.